Hi everyone, Koi Housewife here. I have more snacks from the Asian market to show you and to try myself. So, let's get started. Okay, first off, I have these. It's called uh, Ramen Crunch Spicy from Happy Snacks. And that's what it looks like. If I can open it once again, I really need to get scissors, like I said in the last video, because I have trouble opening things. But I got this one without using my teeth, because remember, teeth are not tools. This is what they look like like little ramen noodles all stuck together. It smells kind of odd. Really tasty, very tasty. Um, definitely could be addictive. <laughs> My husband, um, when we were friends, I would watch him get ramen noodles and kind of like crunch them up, and then just pour the seasoning over and eat them like chips. And I was always like, mm, "That's kind of, it's kind of odd," but you know, whatever floats your boat, I guess. But these are delicious. These are very good. I would definitely recommend these. On a tasty level, these are definitely a 5 out of 5. These are very, very good. Mm. Definitely going to eat all of those later. I guess I'll have to share with the other people in my house. Mm. Okay, next up is another spicy one. I want to get the spicy ones together. So, you know, I'm not eating like spicy and then some sweet and then spicy. That'll kind of taste a little funky after a while. This is from Koikea. Potato sticks, Karamucho Hot Chitty, Japan's number one spicy snack brand. Dun dun dun. Okay, let's try it. It looks a lot like um, the shoestring spicy uh, potato sticks that we have here. I haven't had those in a very long time. The smell isn't super, super strong, which I guess could be a good thing. The teeny little potato sticks. That's what they look like. These, they're just like little shoestrings. They're not super flavorful or anything. Like they're good, but they're not like spicy really at all. They're very salty tasting, but um, just like very, very slight hint of hot chili taste. But they're still good. They're definitely not, uh, I don't know. It says Japan's number one spicy snack brand, so maybe it's not this is Japan's number one spicy snack, because it's not that spicy. Oh well. All right, next up I actually have a candy. It is Kit Kat Green Tea from Japan. And I've seen these a lot of places, um, especially online. Everyone tasting them and being like, what? Let's see. They're green. Um, I'd really like to get one of the sets of the Kit Kats from Japan because I know there's over 30 flavors, I believe. And I'm very interested in trying some of those. Some of those are like, oh, you know, that'd be really good. And some of them are like, why did you make that? I don't know. They smell like um they smell like a matcha green tea. So I 
know a lot of people have tried this and have not liked it at all. Um, I like it. It's very creamy. Um, I've had a lot of green tea desserts before though, like green tea ice cream and and things like that. And I like that flavor, like the, the creamy matcha in desserts. Some people either don't know what that taste is, like if I just gave someone one of these, they would probably eat it and not be able to pinpoint what flavor that is. And that can be a little concerning to people. Um, I think they're pretty good. Very unique. A very unique taste, for sure. Next up, mm, what are these called? I guess they're just little rice cracker and I think these are Japanese. Oh no, it is Chinese. This is Chinese. I was confused. I was like, that's a lot of kanji. I can't read anything. It's because it's in Chinese. But that's what it looks like. They smell a little odd, but okay. That's alright. I usually like a lot of rice snacks. Um, that's what they look like. Like just little cracker thingies. They're actually pretty good. Um, I'm not really sure what the flavor is, but it's it's savory. It's be a good Nice little snack on the side. Hmm. Pretty tasty. So for today, I really liked everything. There wasn't anything that I would be like, oh, I'm never ever gonna buy that again. Unlike in the last video with the taco chips, those were unique, definitely. So let's see, the ramen chips on tasty level, as I said before, 5 out of 5. The hot chili potato sticks, they're pretty good, I would guess, mm, um, they weren't anything like really special, so 3 out of 5. The Kit Kat bar. They're very unique. I don't think that they're for everyone, but I, I like them okay um, as a little, you know, candy on the side. Um, I guess a three out of five. And then the little Chinese rice crackers. They are actually really tasty. I could definitely munch on these. Um, and just keep munching. I guess a four out of five. So everything today was pretty good, um, which is which is nice. So have you tried any of these or would you want to try any of these? Let me know what you think about in the comments and subscribe. Bye!